it's time for prayer because what we believe that prayer changes everything. And uh, we're going through the book of actually this morning. We're going to have an interesting uh, combination. We have uh, the book Prayers uh, from A to Z that released suddenly. I Many of you have it already. And so we're on page number 15. And then simultaneously, we're also going to deal with chapter 5. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, of the book uh, Spiritual Assassins. Spirits uh, sent to kill, steal, and destroy. And uh, I really believe that this is going to be an amazing topic this morning. This morning's subject is anger. My wife gave you a, a snippet of it yesterday. And so, as always, I'll give you the definition. And then my wife will uh, give you a little bit better uh, understanding of it. And then we'll get into some scripture. I'll give you that. And then finally, we'll do some praying. I'll, she'll pray and then I'll pray. Uh, and then this morning, we're going to do also some declarations. Because in the book, Spiritual Assassins, Spirit sent to uh, steal, kill, and destroy. We have some declarations uh, that we use to pray against and to speak against uh, the spirit of anger. And so we want to deal with that this morning. And uh, you know, sometimes the reality is is that we can we can all have some things that can make us angry, but we don't have to let the angry rest in us. And uh, we have some scriptures about that. I, was, I told you, I talk, talked about this last year that you know there there were um, there were situations in my life where. I found myself angry at times in my past. You know, my younger years, man, I would just be so, you know, angry about things. But the reality was, the Bible told me that anger rests in the bosom of fool, and I said, "Oh, that's not me." <laughs> and so I had to, uh, I had to get that corrected. And so I think that we all can have areas in our life where we may be slightly, uh, you know, have, you know, as we talked about yesterday, we might be misaligned with God. Mm -hmm. But we have to uh, reconcile ourselves and get into alignment with Him again if we find ourselves in error in any of these ways. And so God is so forgiving. He's so loving. He's so kind. Uh, he is so merciful. He is so loving. And uh, he will he will forgive us and let us get back into place, amen, if we're dealing with the spirit of anger. Well, I'll give a definition and then you can talk a little bit more about it. Yeah. Anger is a strong feeling of displeasure and belligerent aroused by a wrong. Uh, and then there's another definition which says it is wrath. So what are your thoughts about this this morning? You know, anger, of course, you know, one of the things that you say, um, because you've worked with people and work with them through their process of anger and you usually you know would say anger is a secondary emotion mm -hmm. of something that's deeper than what we see mm -hmm. and so sometimes it is uh, it could be abandonment it could be rejection it could be um you know you feel like you've been dishonored or disrespected in some way um and so anger comes out but that's not the root uh that's the fruit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anger is the fruit of whatever the situation is and so once we get to the root of the problem then we know how to effectively deal with the issue of anger um <clears throat> You know, those strong feelings, um, those feelings sometimes when you feel like you're out of control um, of a situation. And so you react um, sometimes in a physical way. You react uh, emotionally. And, and, and so you realize and sometimes you don't even realize the extent of it until afterwards, mm. um, after it's over. And then there comes the condemnation. So it's a whole thing that the enemy uses against us um, in those areas and so we've got to recognize the enemy because as my husband mentioned in the book spiritual assassins there is an assassin that's out to destroy you to to take you out to cause you not uh, to walk in your fullness of your purpose and so we we saw that um, in an example that um, that's in the book that he gave even with um, even with Moses um, he did, didn't control his anger and we saw it in one way where you know, he felt like he was helping um, mm -hmm. someone. He was helping, um, you know, the Israelites. He was helping them by um, as his anger came about. But because he didn't deal with it, it got to a point that it that it um, caused him caused, to disobey God. It caused him right to mm -hmm. disobey God and not really uh, walk in the fullness. Of, of what God had called him to be. He, he cut it short because of his anger. Wow. So, 
Yeah, yeah. So anger, thank you so much for that definition. Uh, very powerful. So anger, while a strong emotion, offers us an opportunity for growth and self-improvement when we approach it constructively. It's important to know that while we feel anger, we can choose to respond to it without sinning, retaliating against the person, or wanting to bring them harm, bring harm to those to whom we are angry. The Apostle Paul encourages us in Ephesians 2, 26 and 27, that we can be angry, but not sin, nor give place to the devil. Understanding that anger can often arise from underlying issues, it becomes vital to identify and address the root causes and the triggers. The, this process empowers us to effectively manage and eventually conquer our anger. Remember, we can't conquer what we don't confront, and we can't confront what we don't identify. Mm -hmm. Uncontrolled and unchecked anger can lead to detrimental outcomes for us and others. If we actively seek support and learn healthy coping strategies, we can turn anger into a constructive force. We can learn from. We have a responsibility to embrace this journey of managing our emotions and transforming anger into a catalyst for positive change. Wow. What do you, what do you, what do you get out of uh, uh, that reading this morning? No, I think, I think it's, uh, I think it's very powerful and I think it's, uh, I think it's something that we have to apply to lives because we don't want to be in a place where we allow our anger to control us to the extent that we've not managed the uh, the the uh, we've not dealt with the unmanaged uh, emotion of anger. Mm -hmm. You know, it's again, it's it's a it's a natural process. Sometimes we're gonna we're gonna encounter things that we don't like. We're gonna encounter things that challenge us. But we cannot let our 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 discontent with something cause us to become angry. Uh, some of the scriptures that deal with this, it says, Be angry, but sin not. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer, but uh, let him labor, working with his hands, uh, that which is good, that he may be may have something good to give him who's in need. And so it goes on down. Well, I'll, I'll, go, I'll keep going. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but, uh, but what is good or necessary for edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, for whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. But let all bitterness, all wrath, all anger, all clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Ephesians 4, 26-31. And there's another scripture in James 1, 19-20. It said, So, my beloved brethren, uh, let every man be swift to hear, let him be slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man does not, uh, does not produce the righteousness of God. Then Proverbs 29 11 says, For fools vent all his feelings. Wow, a fool vents all his feelings, but a wise man holds them back. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it talks about us being temperate and in control of our emotions, mm -hmm. uh, having them managed. And so that's very important. Then Ecclesiastes 7 and 9 says, Do not hasten in your spirit to be angry, for a anger rests in the bosom of fools. Mm -hmm. And that's the scripture I told you I read. And I was like, I was like, oh man, that's not good, you know. Because I'm not I'm not a fool, so I gotta get that together, you know. Right. Uh, and then Proverbs 15 and 1 says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. And so you got to be very, very careful uh, that you learn how to manage your anger, mm. Man learn how to control it, learn how to even get healed or deliver from the different emotions that right. that may be fueling your anger. Right. You know, uh, it, it, you know. It's, again, it's one thing for you for some sometimes things for you not to agree with some things, but when you get when it get when it controls you so much that it causes you to disobey God, or it controls you so much that you that you it begins to rest in you. Then that's when you got to be very very careful, and you need to get deliverance and healing from that that place. Absolutely. So before you read the, uh, before you start the prayer, mm -hmm. I want to go into chapter five, and I want to read the uh, declarations. Again, chapter five starts on page fifty-five, and it goes through about sixty-one. And of course, you've got the story, and then the confessions, and then the prayer in the spiritual assassins book, of course. And, uh, and this it says, I will not allow anger to control me, my actions, or my obedience to God. I will not seek revenge against those who have wronged me. I choose to forgive. I will not overload and overwork myself. 
I would I would not take on and carry other people's burdens. I would not allow frustration and stress to cause me to disobey God. I would not allow anger to consume me. I would delegate responsibilities in ministry and business and the family. I release the burden of ministry. I, re I release the stress of ministry. I will learn healthy coping mechanisms. I will learn to rest in God. I will cast out spirits of anger. I will cast out spirits of anger operating in my bloodline. And I will uh, cast out all contentious spirits. Amen. Would you like to pray? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things that, um, <clears throat> you know, with the, <clears throat> with the spirit of anger, we've got to also recognize our triggers. What causes us to be angry? You know, you know, we live in Florida and, uh, you know, sometimes drivers are, don't always do the right thing. They'll cut you off. They'll, you know, drive in your lane instead of their lane. And so we got all this stuff going on. And but then we see accounts of road rage where people get so angry because someone may have cut them off, someone may have hit them, you know, accidentally. So we got to also identify our triggers that causes us to be angry. If you feel you find yourself and it becomes a pattern in your life, then we've got to <clears throat> begin to look at that and identify that, recognize that, and then release that. Say, God, help me with this situation because um, I don't want this in my life. I, I don't want this in my heart. I don't want it to rest upon me um, because I'm a fool and I don't want to be a fool. I don't want, be because after it's said and done, listen, the enemy is going to eat you up with condemnation about how you acted and, um, and the things that you did um, against someone else because you were angry. And sometimes we can lose valuable relationships um, because we don't deal with the anger um, that, that causes us to um, break, that, break that trust in, in, um, for us and for others. And so we're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you for help to overcome the spirit of anger inside of me. Release wisdom and strength to manage anger healthily and help me identify and conquer the triggers and patterns that lead to this emotion. Father, forgive me for the people I have hurt, including myself, because I did not control my anger. Lord, I give you the legal right to drive out and destroy every area of my life where anger is operating. I want nothing to stop my prayers and progress in my destiny. I want to be healed and delivered from its influence and the spirit of unforgiveness. Take away the bitterness and resentment I may have held on to. Replace it with your love, forgiveness, compassion, and grace. I will praise you forever in Jesus' name. Amen. And so it's important, again, that we pray, that we have a sincere heart, that we it, it, it comes a time that you say, i got to deal with this. You, you don't have a choice in the matter. You have to deal with it, and you have to deal with it now so that God can move suddenly. Amen. Come on, let's pray some more. Father, we just thank you for giving us the strength and the wisdom uh, and the strategy, God, to understand the different triggers, God, that uh, in our, our, in our, are in our lives, God, that even been in our bloodline, uh, God, before things that uh, we've not even realized uh, that, that become a, 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 con a consistent and continual process in our lives or in our in our bloodline, God, that have caused anger to be our portion of Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you are causing us to identify that and destroy that. God, we're casting it out. We're casting it down. God, we're destroying its roots in our lives. We dig it up by the root in the name of Jesus, God, and we cancel every assignment, every purpose, every uh, everything that the enemy would try to send at us, oh Heavenly Father, to cause us to uh, continue to, to cause us to be angry, to cause wrath to be our portion, O oh God, to cause anger to rest in us. Father, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, that your word declares, God, that, that anger rests in the bosom of fools, and we realize that we're that's not who we are, God. We're, we're perfectly made in your image, God, and so uh, because we know that we're made in your image, O oh God, we stand, O oh God, to be all that you've called us to be. And Father, we thank you for those that are watching today, God. We pray, Lord God, that they identify every root, 
every uh, every place in their life, oh Heavenly Father, where they've mismanaged their anger, where they've mis where they've allowed anger to control them in a moment of, uh, of, of of situation, God, and then all of a sudden, God, they again, as my wife said, they have they end up having uh, condemnation and guilt and other things of God that come as a result uh, of, of their anger, God, that gets them out of your will. Sometimes anger is is it has a, a, a good effect because it causes us to be passionate about things, but then if we let it go too far, then we end up uh, going getting out of your will. And so, Father, we declare, Lord God, we will be in your will. We will be in your purpose. We will be in your in the assignment that you've given for us, oh Heavenly Father. God, we bless every one of these, your sons and your daughters, on this morning, God. And we declare, Lord God, again, that anger will not be uh, uh, something that, that anger and wrath, God, uh, will, we, we will not be contentious. We will not be uh, people that will, will misrepresent you, God, in the earth. Because, again, we know that we're your representation in the earth. And, God, we will not be of those who will misrepresent you in the earth, oh, Heavenly Father. We, we, we pray, Lord God, that we be a temperate people, God, that we be uh, in control of our faculties, oh, Oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, and we just pray blessings and strength and favor upon those that are watching. And Father, we not just pray for anger this morning. We pray for anything, God, that's causing them to get out of your will, be out of place with you, God, be out of alignment with you. God, we pray that in the name of Jesus, that God, that your hand be upon us, that your, your glory be upon us, that your love uh, cover us, oh Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you strengthen us, God. Cause us, O oh Heavenly Father, again to uh, be in your perfect will, God. Be uh, in the place that you call for us to be like never before. Father, I pray, I pray blessings upon your people. God, we declare that suddenly after suddenly is their portion, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we stretch out our hands, God, and we we, we send your, your uh, we, 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 we send the release of things that have been held up and blessings and favor and strength uh, to them now in Jesus' name, God. We thank you that every person that's watching, that every prayer that you you have God it, that it that uh, it's being released unto them God in the name of Jesus Father we thank you God that even people that have watched this later God that they will uh, they will see uh, themselves in the perfect mirror of your image oh heaven Father and they will see where their uh, their actions may not align with what you've planned for their lives oh God and then they'll quickly repent God quickly come back into alignment quickly uh, 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 you know re recommit themselves to your calling and your purpose and your assignment and so Father we just we just pray blessings now upon you. We pray, uh, we pray uh, strength upon you now in the name of Jesus. We pray uh, that, 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 that whatever you're dealing with and wherever you're going through, whatever process of life you're in, that the blessing of God, the favor of God, the love of God, the strength of God would encompass you and would surround you. It would encapsulate you like never before. Father, we just bless them. We dec decree and we declare, God, that uh, as, you, as we say it, that uh, anger should not rest in us, O Heavenly Father the North wrath, but that, God, we will be filled with your love, with your wisdom, with your discernment, God, with your understanding, God, we will be filled with your healing, with your deliverance, God, with your strength, oh God, with your favor, God, that it will be our portion in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, God, that everything that we're believing you for, everything we're trusting you for, everything that, we're, that we've been standing on as far as your word is concerned will come to pass suddenly for us, O oh, Heavenly Father. We believe that prayer changes everything, that there's nothing that prayer can't change, that yes. prayer, nothing that should prayer can't rearrange, nothing that, uh, that, that, that you can't do because you are God and there is nothing impossible with you. There's nothing that you can't change, nothing that you can't reform, nothing that you can't uh, that you can rearrange God in the name of Jesus Father we thank you that you can change any heart you can change any mind God you can deal with anybody's uh, emotions God uh, they, they you know anger sometimes stems from jealousy and it sometimes stems from uh, you know uh, as my wife said rejection and abandonment but father we pray that every root of abandonment be, be, be taken out of your people God every root of jealousy insufficiency insecurity God be taken out of your people in the name of Jesus God and we we pray, Lord God, that our hearts be pure and uh, and be, be before you like never before. God, we declare, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you are causing our hearts to be reformed, changed. Your word declares, God, that the heart is deceitfully wicked. God, who can know it? But you do know it, God. You judge the heart and the reins. And so, God, you uh, give. And then your word declares that you give every man according to his deeds. And so we pray that our deeds be those that are, that are, that are pleasing to you. Your word declares, God, that, uh, it, it, that when our man's ways please the Lord you'll make you you'll, uh, you'll, you'll make his enemies be at peace
peace with it. And so, Father, we declare, Lord God, that our ways are pleasing in your sight and that you are causing our enemies to be at peace with us, O oh, Heavenly Father. We just pray blessings and strength and favor unto your people now like never before. And God, again, we pray because we believe that prayer changes everything, that there's nothing that prayer cannot change. There's nothing that prayer cannot turn around. There's no situation, God, that's too hard for us to believe you for uh, your word declares that unto him uh, who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us God your word declares that if we say to the mountain we have faith in you and we send to the mountain be thou removed and be thou cast in the sea should I die in our hearts then we shall have the thing that we say that we pray for your word also says in John 14 and 14 that if, uh, if we ask anything in Jesus name uh, that you would do it that the father may receive the glory the word also says that if two of us touching concerning anything that we ask that we have the petitions that we ask therefore so father we thank you God that your word declares God that all things are possible to him that believe all things oh and that nothing is impossible with you and so father we thank you for turning situations around we thank you for changing hearts changing minds uh, where there was anger God turn that heart of anger and make it soft and make it pliable again God make it full of love again make it understanding again in the name of Jesus father I pray now in the name of Jesus that you're going now to touch somebody's heart God somebody who was angry about something somebody who was who was who was uh, who was who misunderstood something God uh, someone who was hurt because of something someone who was disappointed by some yeah. somebody who was let down by something because they were let down yes. they, they, yes. their initial t uh, of tendency is to become angry about it but God you give them an understanding heart you give them a loving heart you give them a uh, uh, a heart that 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 believes the best, always uh, always leans towards the good things, God, in life. And Father, we would not be like Moses. We would not uh, we would not get so angry that we uh, that we react from a position of anger. No, we're going to react from a position of love. We're going to act yes. from a place of, of, of conditioned understanding, God. We're going to we're going to really understand who you are and what you what you have called for us to do and to be. And we're going to we're going to operate in a spirit of love and of course not anger. Father, we bless them. We bless you. We bless, uh, we, we bless one another, and God, we pray and we stand in agreement with your word, O Heavenly Father, which declares, God, that we are made in your image, O Heavenly Father, and that nothing that we ask for will be withheld from us. Your, your, your word declares, uh, God, that if we delight ourselves in you, you'll give us the desires of our heart, and the desires of our heart is that our heart be made pliable mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and submitted to you in every area of our life, in everything that we do. Let us be pleasing to you. Let us let our ways please you so that you'll give us the desires of our heart. Let us delight ourselves in you that you'll give us the desires of our heart. We pray these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We, you know, even declare restoration um, in your life, even in relationships that um, have been affected by anger. Um, we pray restoration for those relationships that um, God will, will mend them. God will build them. God will strengthen them um, as well. And so we know that God is faithful to do above of all that we can even ask or think. And so this is your day. Amen. This is your day of healing and this is your day of restoration. And so thank you so much for joining <clears throat> in with us. Please share the broadcast so that others can um, can go back and listen and be blessed as well. We never know what people are dealing with or what they're going through. And sometimes um, just a prayer is something that will help them, that will strengthen them and encourage them um, as they go about their day. You know, sometimes people join in with us and connect with us because someone else um, shared the broadcast. So we certainly appreciate your continued support. You know, one of the things I was going to say was, uh, is that, you know, sometimes we'll go to work mm -hmm. or we will be in a place mm -hmm. and sometimes a per, you know, the person that we work with, like I've, I've worked with some people that, I mean, because I was military, right. and so I've worked with some people that were like, I mean, they were just, just, they would just blow up at the moment's notice. <laughs> but the Bible said something about, it says something about a soft answer turns away wrath. Yeah. And so uh, I was looking the other day at what well, video, and the video was saying, if somebody says something disrespectful of you, you don't necessarily have to lose your temper, or you don't have to come back to them in a way that, you know, you, you don't have to one up them mm -hmm. uh, in, in getting control. <laughs> Right, Sometimes right. if somebody says something disrespectful to you, you can you can look at them uh, and and say something like, "I'm sorry, you're not having the best day," mm -hmm. or "I'm sorry that that's the way you feel," right. uh, or you can just 
uh, and you know you can you can tone your voice down right. so then they have to think about how they're conducting themselves right. and before you know it you've melted their heart uh -huh. sometimes at work <laughs> if you've got an employer or a, or a person that you're working with or an employee or if you're in, in a crowd or if you're in traffic or whatever mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to react to some the way somebody yes. treats you yes. you can be the person who is uh, in, in a sense almost disrespected but at the same time you can answer them with the heart of Christ Absolutely. you can answer them in the spirit of Christ right. and so you can you can look look at them and smile and say listen I, I am so sorry that you're having such a uh, um, that your day has not been the way that you anticipated it uh, but but I, I'm gonna pray for you I'm gonna believe God that uh, before this day this day is gonna turn around for you and and so let's let's you know and so we as believers have to be those people who will set those different patterns because we got to know that God uh, wants expects us to represent him and to uh, be be an example to other people sometimes people may not have even be, had a, an example shown to them mm -hmm. that may have been the way that their, their parents did it or their family members did it or somebody else did it but you've got to be that person who will set a right example for them and not uh, not answer with a spirit of anger mm -hmm. and so you've got to listen a soft uh, <laughs> A soft answer will turn way around. Yes. Listen, you can de-escalate somebody so quickly <laughs> yes. just by a soft answer. Right. Absolutely. You know, and it doesn't mean that you're soft. It doesn't mean that you're that you that you don't have you know that you're not strong. No, I can just de-escalate uh, with a, a with a smile mm -hmm. and with a a, a bring my seen voice you do down. That. Yep. <laughs> I've seen and, you uh, do that. Yep. You're just like, hmm, okay. I am not going to participate in your Escalade. No. Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to participate in that. Not do it. And so once you finish and get whatever, then okay, we're going to move forward. We can talk some more. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's nothing you, you can tell them. Listen, uh, when you feel better or you when you get you know everything under control, we can we can resume this conversation then. Right. Uh, right. But I'm not going to participate in this conversation as long as you're not uh, unless you as long as you're in this this frame this frame of mood. You know, <laughs> as long as you're in this mood with we're not gonna have a conversation. Exactly. We, we, cause, cause, yes. Because you you don't want to have this conversation right now. You 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 want us to calm down. You want us to yeah praise the Lord. And so that that's how we do it. That's how we answer someone who may be uh, in a place of uh, of not 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 displaying the character of Christ. You right. know. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'm saying, and the, the, the other thing is God will allow you, the Spirit of God will allow you to have peace in the midst of that storm. Right. Because uh, I remember sitting, uh, having a conversation, mm -hmm. and I won't tell all of the story, but uh, a young man was, I mean, he was just angry. I mean, when I tell you he was just angry, he was, it, it, and he was probably sitting this far from me, very, very angry. And uh, and he was a large gentleman, you know, he had, you know, he was very, very strong. And, and, and I just sat in front of him because I wasn't, I wasn't afraid because I knew that he was controlled by a spirit of anger right and so when you're controlled by the spirit of God you have the spirit of peace you have love you have boldness you have strength right. in the midst of the adversity that you may be facing mm -hmm. and so you can you can read and I pray for those of you uh, yeah. that are watching that you that you have the spirit to discern when someone is operating in a spirit of anger let let right. the anointing of discernment be your portion in the name of Jesus and let you be able to discern when somebody else is operating in a spirit of anger and uh, and wrath and that they are disappointed and then i pray also that god gives you not just discernment but god gives you the ability to pinpoint exactly what the the root of their anger is yes. so that then yes. you can dislodge the enemy from them you can you know you you can begin to minister whether you minister verbally or you minister under under you know uh in prayer that you can begin to pray father i pray uh, uh for this person and i pray that they be delivered from the spirit of abandonment or rejection Rejection or jealousy or, or strife or confusion or right. feelings of insecurity or whatever it is that yes. they're dealing with yes. that God gives yes. you an anointing that you can actually see it yes. in their life and then yes. begin to literally pull the uh, pull the carpet from under them as, as, as far as it pertains to anger and uh, being upset uh, because the reality is is that nobody really wants the effects of anger to operate in their life yes 
Yes, right. You you take away the power of anger mm-hmm. um, with that. And so it's those things are important. And so, you know, even those that have been on the other end of someone's anger and you've dealt with it, whether it's been one time or several times. And so we want to cover you as well. We want to pray healing and restoration to you that have dealt with anger. You know the effects of anger. You know um, how you have felt, how your heart has been hurt or disappointed because of someone else's anger. And so God is concerned uh, about you as well. And so this is such an amazing time of healing and restoration in our life that we can recognize these things. God is not mad or angry at you, but he wants all of us to be healed in every single area of our life so that we can experience suddenly after suddenly after suddenly. We want to encounter God. We want to uh, grow in our faith. We want to uh, walk in our purpose. We want to fulfill the call that is upon our life because as we said um, just I think it was yesterday being in the perfect will of God will always bring us the best results. That's what we want. We want the best results. We don't want um, just uh, a partial blessing. No, we want a full blessing and so we want to walk in the fullness of what God has called us to walk in. So in in order to do that, we've got to be in the fullness of what God has called us to be. You know, I wanted wanted to say a real quick prayer for those who, as you said, have been on the opposite end of someone's anger. And so we pray even for you that have uh, experienced somebody's anger and been disappointed or hurt or uh, or even disillusioned or, or taken off by it, taken back by it. Some of you uh, have experienced the hurt that comes from somebody having displaced the anger on you. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so I pray for your heart. I pray for healing in your heart. Pray for the uh, the healing of disappointment or from the spirit of disappointment that's come upon you because you were let down or disappointed or you even hurt because they were just very, very mean or very angry. Sometimes we can encounter this with our parents or coworkers or other people. Uh, and I pray for your heart. I pray that God heals your heart, uh, that he literally comes in and massages your heart again, that you in turn will not be one of those that will take on that spirit of anger and then take it and pass it on to anybody else. No, and that the spirit of anger dies with us. It dies now. It, do, it dies uh, from from this point on. You'll get, you'll get healed uh, and you'll be delivered from that spirit of anger. So we just pray for God's blessings and God's favor in our lives like never before. Let me give you a few announcements. For, no, oh, and that oh. is so true. And we want to certainly thank everyone. But um, as I think it's Verne. She said, um, anger is poisonous. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. That's true. That is so true. Yeah, it is. It's so, so poisonous. Yep. Okay, let me give a few quick announcements. Of course, you want to buy the book, Spiritual Assassins. We were uh, in Chapter 5 of it this morning. Spiritual Assassins, Spirits Tend to Kill, Still and Destroy. You can go to our website, www.lejeanevalora.com. And then you can also go there and get prayers that release suddenly. Again, this is one of our most comprehensive books. You can see how thick it is. Uh, and then, uh, yep, so, uh, oh, yeah. yep, and so, Blaine, 2,000 words, and uh, just, just amazing, amazing, amazing book uh, that we've uh, we've prepared. Last night, we started our spiritual warfare class, and it was amazing yes. uh, as well, and so there is still time for you to, uh, rec- uh, to register for that, and then there's also, uh, you get the replay, and so that uh, is amazing, and then if you're looking at doing global missions, for those of you that are connected to us and are looking forward to doing some type of global missions uh, we're looking to take some uh, trips to back to Australia mm. and uh, looking to uh, go to the Philippines we're looking to uh, to go to India uh, we're looking to go back to, to Colombia and, and to Africa yes, yes, and yes. to Peru and mm-hmm. some other places and so if you're into global missions and traveling uh, you know uh, really want to understand that then that global missions course will be just for you so that you can really understand the heart of God for the nations of the yes. world you know the challenge is is, is in America one of the challenges that we had is initially we had um, America was was doing a lot of global missions mm-hmm. but then what happened was is that <laughs> now we need um, somebody to come and minister to us you know we need to we, 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 need, we need to evangelize America because we've <laughs> we've uh, we've kind of lost our forerunner status in our a lot of our missions you know mm-hmm. and so that that's very important that that we really gain an understanding of how to do that and then again on the spiritual warfare side I think that every believer needs to understand how the enemy comes to uh, steal kill and destroy from you and so it's so vitally important that we understand that 
and uh, and we look at that because again if we don't understand it if we don't understand a thing if we can't identify something mm -hmm. uh, then we can't confront it and then we can't we can't destroy what we can't confront or we can't identify and so right. those are right. very very important uh, factors you know one of the things that also that we have of course we got uh, we got these four books and then we got another um, 20 something books <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, we're excited we, 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 we try to uh, provide tools for the body of Christ yes. so that uh, so that people can have something to work with uh, and then my wife has the Royal, the Queen's Royal Luncheon coming up uh, on April the 13th from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, I mean 12, 12 o'clock p.m. to 4 p.m. She got a call yesterday that one of her friends is flying in from Atlanta to be a part of it. And yeah. so uh, that's going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. So make sure you go to www.fearlesswomenglobal.org to register for that. And then uh, I was showing yesterday that, uh, I don't know if you guys got to see these photos yesterday, but uh, we were... Um, let me see. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Maria Key says she loves the prayer book. That's a blessing. Oh, I'm wow. so excited and so honored that you would love that. And uh, yesterday, this was our uh, our trip to Venice, oh, my uh, Venice, what an Italy. Experience. And uh, it was a uh, we went on a gondola ride. I've always told my wife I wanted to take her on a gondola ride, and that was amazing. Mm -hmm. And then we took our famous photo in front of the uh, Eiffel Tower, so that was uh, amazing in itself. And then uh, we went to see the Coliseum in Rome, and that was again amazing. Okay. And then we took an amazing just the train history, ride. Yes, yeah. just the history and you know the different places that we were able to to experience. Man, thank you, babe. <laughs> uh, and so uh, this was our train ride. We got to see the uh, we got to see the Alps. Uh, we rode by the French Alps on the train, and so yes. the train was it was so amazing. Ice caps. Yep. And, and so it was. Uh, it was. Uh, I guess I said it was really amazing. Well, <laughs> we're gonna get out of here. We love you guys, and so we're praying for blessings and yes. for strength. Uh, I yes. feel the spirit of peace mm -hmm. in the atmosphere, yes. and so when we pray, we bind the spirit that uh, the enemy comes to try to steal, kill, and destroy us. Uh, we can actually destroy those spirits, and uh, and then we can live a peaceful life. And then, as a result of destroying those spirits and anything that's separating us from God or hindering our walk with God. If as we destroy that, we begin to see suddenly after suddenly after suddenly yes. uh, come into our lives. So again, uh, thank you for those of you that have joined us here at 5 o'clock in the morning for prayer. Yes. Uh, we believe, again, that prayer <laughs> changes everything, everything. and there's nothing that change, that prayer doesn't change. And so we believe that when we when we pray and we believe God and we uh, tap into that place that God literally rearranges things, He changes things, He reshapes things, He changes hearts, He changes yeah. minds, He changes emotions. Uh, if we'll just pray and believe God that the things that we are, uh, uh, if we believe God, the things we're praying for are going to come to pass, then God will do just what we ask Him to do. Amen. Baby, you have anything else you want to share? That's it. We love you guys. We're here to certainly cover you, pray for you, believe God for you, and uh, expect um, God to manifest. Amen. So go forth and receive everything that God has for you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Talk to you later. See you in the morning, 5 o'clock. Yes, and tomorrow we're going to be talking about answered prayer. Oh, wow. Answered prayer. Listen, God answers prayer. Answered prayer. I'm going to give you just a little bit of a snippet. I'm going to give you the definition. Answered prayer. It is a manifestation of a request for God to intervene and to do something um, on someone's behalf. The petition can be about a need or want to be requested for themselves or on behalf of someone or something else. So we're believing God for answered prayer. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye.